Weeks, it's me again, coming at you from the Welsh borders, from Andy Does Ales. Here we go again. Now then, if I were to say to you, Nawabin, some of you wouldn't know what I was on about. You'd be thinking, he's off his rocker. Clue. They'd be thinking, he's speaking a different language, or he's turned into double Trump, and, and gone into his Kavefi language. No. Nwobam stands for the new wave of British heavy metal. Yes. And I was a stalwart of the, the scene uh, back in the you know late 70s, early 80s with uh, you know some of the bands that came out. They're still going, of course, now Iron Maiden, Saxon, uh, Def, not Def Leppard, no, not really them. Um, Diamond Head, stuff like that and all these sort of you know uh, Vardis, Venom, Raven and there was another one based in Stourbridge called Witchfinder General heaviest of the heavy they were I'm, I'm pretty sure that they were on a bill at the Manchester Apollo with Angel Witch, Vardis and Triumph from Canada so, you know, headlining and I'm pretty sure they were on first and they, they were, yeah they were alright I mean I've listened, it's pretty basic heavy metal good stuff Good stuff. They've jumped. Well, they haven't jumped on the bandwagon. This was uh, they've, they've got together with uh, Kimver Brewery in Staffordshire, Stourbridge. They were from uh, to produce a beer, and I like music-related beers, as you know. So here we go. Kimver Brewery. Well, I've got an itchy ear. Hang on. That's better. Kimver Brewery. Which find a general. 5.5% dark and heavy and you can see there the uh, get in focus new wave of British heavy metal beer on the end mm. malted pails uh, crystal chocolate and roast barley hops water yeast 5.5% brewed as a collaboration with Phil Cope from uh, the rock and rock legends which find a general the beer is dark and heavy like the band. Well, have you seen some of the album covers? Mm, yeah. Bottle conditioned. Right. Be careful. Surf cool, not chilled. Uh, ooh, nice purple cap. Deep purple. <laughs> right. Let's see what it's like, shall we? And speaking of deep purple, there's the nearly famous deep purple bottle up there. <sighs> right. Let's crack this open. And see how smells dark and heavy. It does. It does. Let's get it in the glass. Of course, you know, with it being bottle conditioned, gently pouring, so that we don't get too many other bits and bobs in it. So I'm not over keen on the bits and bobs. Now then, look at that. That is coming out really, really dark. That looks fantastic. Oh yeah, right. We'll leave it. Leave it there. We'll put that there, and hopefully, I won't knock it over, which probably means I will. Right. Let's have a look. Hmm. Dark and heavy. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at it. Oof. It's heavy. Can't keep it up. Ah. There we go. Two hands. Very dark. Very heavy. And as your eye right, heaps, says very humble. Seems though we're in a rock frame of mind. Is that a bit too high? No, never mind. Right, smelly wise. Smell of vision. Mmm. I'm getting chocolatey. Little bits of chocolate in there. But otherwise, it smells like a beer. Works for me. Cheers, music lovers. Here's to Witchfinder General, who are no longer with us as a band. Although Phil Cope and the members of the band are still dabbling here and there from what I can gather. Rock and roll. That is amazing. Mm. That is lovely. That is a, it's a porter. You can taste it's a porter. It's, it's a lovely smooth finish on the tongue 
I'm getting I am getting slight hints of chocolate in there it's quite malty in fact it's very malty I'm just getting a malty back taste there which is coming back mm, quite bitter loud and heavy Mm, that's very very nice indeed that's very worthy of a heavy metal band now i can't play anything by which by the general on youtube because youtube shout at me and say ah it's copyrighted yeah well so i don't bother but have a listen to him i mean he's, yeah he's pretty good heavy metal for the for the 79 80 81 82 period and uh well worth the uh, you know if you if you're in the mood for a bit of an headband this i'm in the mood for this all the time this is really nice it's very it's quite bitter there isn't a lot of sweetness in the chocolate taste there's there's like a it's like a darker chocolate what well, it would be wouldn't it look at the state of it <clears throat> and uh, it just hits you like a, a 90 pound hammer like cozy powell's hammer even if we're again on the music theme which we are mm, yeah I do like band-related and rock-related beers. Now, of course, out of order, the band I'm in have a black IPA out, which is very nice, and that is obviously my favourite. And you've got the Iron Maiden beers, the old status quo beers. I wish they'd do Pile Driver again. That was a good beer, that was. Um, and various Motorhead ones. I've even had one by the by the band Elbow. Remember them? Guy, Guy, what's Guy Garvey? Singing? Well, anyway. However, Witchfinder General by Kimber Brewery. 5.5%. Very nice indeed. Recommended if you find it. Then somebody wants me again. I should turn that down, shouldn't I? Never mind. Anyway. It's a seasonal beer. So winter time's coming up. It's a winter beer. Dark beer. Have a look out for it. I did cheat actually and found this. In the, uh, the the cheap section at Spa, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> One pound fifty, I think it was. Now well, let's throw caution to the wind and stick a bit more in. So, music-related beers, and again, you know, I'd be interested in listening and um, your views on beer-related tunes as well. Um, <clears throat> let's discuss, find out, and hopefully you'll you'll subscribe as well because we do like our music in this house. And we do like a good beer. Well, I do anyway. Vicky's more cider. And but we do we do like a good Jack Daniels. Can't go wrong with that. Which find a general <clears throat> from Kimber Brewery, in Staffordshire. Well worth it. Very very nice indeed. Lovely beer. Lovely dark beer. Look at the lacing on that. Fantastic. Can't go wrong. Right, folks. Play it loud. And if it's too loud, you're too old. For goodness sake. Take care, and we'll see you. And a gig, and a bar, <coughs> oh, and it makes you burp, result, very soon. Cheers, folks. Don't work together.